What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about stairs in Revit. Well, we're actually going to be talking about short stairs in Revit. So every now and then you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're designing a home or something like that and you have to design a stair but there is not enough room lengthwise for that stair. Usually stairs do require a lot of length to get you comfortably from one level up to the other. Now, in situations such as these, you can always try to shorten the stair, but that presents you with a certain problem where the uh, tread of the stair, that's where you're going to put your feet when you're walking up the stair, uh, that's, uh, that's going to become too short. And when this becomes too short, well, then you cannot comfortably walk up that stair. And more importantly, <laughs> you can definitely not comfortably climb down that stair. Uh, and you risk falling and injury and so on. So for that, we have this uh, cool design of a stair where every other step is basically has a little extension. So it's basically kind of forcing you to go uh, left foot, right foot. You don't, uh, you don't choose your own kind of first step. The stair chooses that for you. Uh, but the kind of the uh, the benefit of that is it does allow you to create a fairly comfortable stair uh, in a short distance, which is really good. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to replicate something like that in Revit. Uh, now, before I get started, if you're interested in learning more about stairs uh, and railings in Revit, I actually have an entire course just on that topic, stairs and railing. You can find that on my website, balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below the video. And obviously, apart from that course, I have many other courses. I actually have over 100 hours of content so far on my website, and I'm adding more courses uh, each month. Uh, and if you're serious about learning Revit, becoming really good at Revit, that's definitely the best place to start. Uh, also, make sure to check out my Patreon page, that's the second link in the description, and there you can find all of my Revit project files, uh, uh, such as the stair file that I'm creating, as well as the rest of my Revit project files. Okay, so <laughs> without any further ado, uh, let's jump into Revit and let's check out these stairs. Let's go! And here we are in Revit. So I'm going to get started immediately by going here to models, uh, then going to new. And for the template file, I'm going to be just choosing the default metric template. Uh, now you can notice here that I do have a couple of my own custom templates. And if you want to check those out, they are available on my website, balkanarctic.com. And that's going to be the third link in the description. So check it out if you're interested. Anyways, let's select the default metric one for this demonstration. Click OK. And then let's let Revit start right up. Okay, so once we're here in Revit, uh, one quick adjustment that I want to make is to go here to the elevations in the project browser, open up one of the elevations, and then just adjust the uh, levels here. So I just want the top level to be a bit lower, perhaps 3 meters, or in this case, 3000 millimeters. There we go. Now we would have just a, a, a little lower stair, so to speak. Okay, so let's go back into level one. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just creating a regular stair, which we're just going to be using as reference for our custom short stair. So we can kind of see uh, what's the difference in the length that we're making and what's the space saving uh, that we're making. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's go here to the architecture tab. Uh, then you want to go straight here uh, into the circulation panel and find the stair tool. Uh, now for the stair, I'm simply going to be using the assembled stair, uh, this one, uh, the uh, 190 max riser by 250 going. So let's use that one. And then let's use the rest of like, uh, the default settings, make sure it goes from level one up to level two. You click once here, kind of in the middle, you pull it up like so, make sure to go all the way out so it kind of completes the entire stair. You click and you're done. Uh, we can click here to finish and this is what we get. There we go. Okay, uh, so now we can go even to the default 3D view by going here to the quick access toolbar and then we can see the stair that we have created. 
Okay, now let's create our custom short stair. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is go back here into level one. And then for our custom stair, I'm going to go to the stair tool. And before we create our stair, uh, let's go here to this type. And I'm, what I'm going to do is go into edit type and let's duplicate this one because we don't want to mess up the original stair that we have here. So what you want to do is go to duplicate and then we can call this one our custom short stair. There we go. Click OK. Next, uh, what I'm going to do is set up the maximum riser height and the maximum tread depth uh, and make it a little bit different, make it uh, so the stair will be shorter in the end. So you want to click here and then uh, what you want to do with that is set that to, I'm going to go with 220 and then for the tread depth, uh, I'm going to go with 160. You might be thinking 160 is too short, but don't worry about it. We're going to be actually adjusting and modifying that uh, tread uh, later on this video. Okay, so with those settings done, uh, we can change the minimum run width. Usually these stairs are not only short, but they are also narrow. So we can set the uh, minimum run width to 700 millimeters. Click OK. Uh, also change the actual run width down to 700 millimeters. And it's now just a matter of placing the stair. Obviously, again, double check the base and top level constraints. Make sure it goes from level one up to level two with no offsets here, both at the base and at the top. Now, I'm just going to kind of find the line here that's kind of similar to this existing stair and then go up like so. And there we go. See how much space we're saving. See how this stair is well, a lot shorter than this one. Uh, finally, let's hit finish and then let's go to the 3D view and this is what we get. Uh, now, obviously this stair wouldn't work in real life because it's a little bit silly and uh, it's a bit too short. So now we do have to make some adjustments. So the first adjustment that we want to make is to the stair type itself. So select the stair, go here into the edit type menu. And then what you want to do is find the run type and you want to modify the run type by going here, selecting it. And as you can see, it's just a nested family. And here we can duplicate this one so we don't mess up the original family and we can call this one the short uh, run. There we go. Click OK. And the only modification that I'm going to be making is to the riser itself and I'm just going to be getting rid of it just like so. Click OK, apply, OK, and this is what you get. See, now we no longer have those risers, so it's opened up a little bit. It looks more like a ladder and uh, it does help a little bit to climb this type of face there. Obviously, we're going to be making an additional adjustments and those are to the shape of the thread. So for that, what you want to do is create a, a nested family which is going to be fitting in, or not a nested family, but a separate family. And for that family, what they like to do is go here to the file menu. Uh, you wanna go to new, obviously new family. And for the family template file, I like to choose the generic phase based one, uh, just because it makes it a lot easier for me to place these on my model. Then you wanna click okay and it's just going to start a new family. Now you wanna make this family here in the front elevation. So just come in there. Uh, you can start off just from this line and then go off to the right. I'm going to be modeling this as an extrusion. And what you wanna do is just go with a simple line, start from the center, go out. In this case, I'm just going to go up to 500 millimeters. Hit the escape key once, then click here, go up by the value of perhaps, I don't know, like 100, like so. And then what I'm going to be doing is just creating a line that goes like this maybe 260 millimeters. Next, you wanna to switch to the spline tool. You wanna to click once here, and then you don't want to go all the way down. You wanna stop kind of halfway, perhaps a little bit closer like this, and then the next click you want to place here. Hit the escape key a couple of times, select that line, and now you wanna drag this elbow all the way down, just like so. 
and this is what we get. Okay, so this is the family that we're going to be using. So once you finish this family, so just hit finish, uh, you can go to the reference level. It looks like this, but you want to make it shorter. So I just go here to the extrusion end and make it uh, 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters. The reason for that is because the thickness of this uh, tread here uh, uh, is uh, is actually 50 millimeters so we just want to match that here see and finally we want to make sure to save this family before we load that into the project itself so what you want to do is just go here to the save icon on the quick access toolbar and then you can save it wherever I'm simply going to save it on my desktop and let's call this one the short stair riser family okay hit the save and now we can finally load this into our project so you just go here to load into project and close it's going to close down the family and it's going to open up your project. Uh, I want to go here to the 3D view and then because this is face based uh, here we have the place on face which is kind of going to try to assume where we want to place it and this is quite useful because now I can come in here close to this face of this thread. I can hit the space key once to kind of rotate this and then I can place this one here. I can go to the second one. It's a little bit hard to see from the railing. Here I want to flip it to the other side. So I'm just hitting the space key a few times. So let's go place it here all the way in a corner, just like that. And now I'm simply going to hit the escape key a couple of times to completely exit out of this. Okay, so the next step is to just copy this all the way up. So you can do that uh, by going to the floor plan, like so. Then you want to go here to the quick access toolbar and place a section running through this whole stair, just like this. Hit the escape key a couple of times, go to the section itself. So you just double click here on the section head. You find these two families. So here, this one, hold the control key to add this one to selection as well. And then uh, you just want to go here to the copy tool. Now there is a little bit of a trick here. You want to check multiple, you want to uncheck constraint. Then you want to grab it wherever I'm just going to pick this point here and then you place it here. Now once you copy it once it's going to reconstrain that so you have to uncheck this again to place it the second time and then uncheck it again to place it for the third time and it's a little bit annoying but you have to do it as many times as you copy this. Uh, luckily we don't have many so we have just one more and then this one obviously we don't need, so I'm just going to select that, go to the 3D view. Yeah, we can just get rid of that one because it's kind of in midair. And there we go, that's our short stair. Now I'm just going to get rid of the railing for a second, uh, just to make it a little bit easier to see, and this is what we get. This is our short stair. It does look really cool. Uh, obviously, it's not something that's cool a lot. Of, it's not really com comfortable, uh, but it does get the job done if you have a situation where you need a really short stair. Uh, definitely don't use this if you're building a, a, a building for elderly people or something like that, but for some little uh, container home uh, house or something like that, some micro house, uh, this could get the job done. Uh, if the people living there are happy with using a stair like this. Uh, also, one quick tip, uh, if you want to hide these ugly lines that we get now, uh, you can go here to the modify tool and then you can use the line work tool and simply go to invisible lines, click like this, click again, drag this up to here, click again. Okay, it's really hard to hide these. Okay, we can at least hide this one. So I, I guess you are not going to be able to hide all of them. Okay, we did it here. So we kind of messed up a little bit. So let's go back to by category. And then, okay, like so. And then this one should be invisible. There we go. So you can play around a little bit with this, but it is going to be a little bit tough. So you have to 
I'll move this one there, this one here. So if it's really important, you can do it. But again, if it's really up to you because it does take a little bit of work. But in the end, as you can see, it does look like this. So it does hide those lines. So if you have the patience, feel free to do so. This one definitely doesn't want to work. So we cannot do it there. For this one, perhaps we can make it happen. Yeah, there we go. So feel free to play around with these uh, lines, hide them, and then your stair will be short and also look quite cool. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. Uh, tell me in the comment section below, do you like my approach? Do you have some tips? Uh, perhaps you have a better approach or perhaps you just have suggestions for other video topics. So please tell me in the comment section below. Uh, check out my courses on BalkanArchitect.com. That's the first link in the description. And if you want to get my project files like this stair over here, you can find Find that on my Patreon page, which is going to be the second link in the description. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll be back with another tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.